If you go ahead here with Alabama State women's head soccer coach Jody Smith, we're talking about National Signing Day 2016 and comes off the heels of a season in which you lost eight seniors. So, of course, Coach Smith had a lot of work to do this offseason. He brings the biggest class in ASU soccer history. Coach, what is it like just going on the, this journey and having to recruit as much as you did? Well, that's an important part of the job. It's really I, something I look forward to, and uh, as a staff, we look forward to it, getting on the road and seeing the players play. And fortunately, we were able to get around the country a good bit and see, saw a lot of quality players. Love to have had a, a, a bunch of them, uh, but we're really pleased with what we signed uh, for our class this year, and I think they're going to come in and answer a lot of questions. Of course, the uh, thought process had to be, what are you going to do about the defense? You had three players who were among your most active, dependable players, players who played in the range of 1,700 to 1,800 minutes for you on the season. You're talking about players like Shelby Deanna Hollum and Katie Walther and Emily Zilkowski, very valuable players. Uh, looking on the defense, I noticed you picked up a few. You got Elena Manning, Mercedes Padilla, and Brittany Harris. What do those three bring to the table for your program? Well, Elena is uh, out of Woodbridge, Ontario. She plays for a great club team, and uh, I think she's able to come in and really solidify the back line uh, organizationally. She's very composed on the ball, and I think she's going to be able to direct the traffic out of the back and keep us organized in the back. Um, Mercedes Padilla is a really vocal leader, another central defender. Central defender was an area that we felt like we really needed to address this year. Uh, so we bring in you know, Elena and Mercedes. Mercedes, again, is a very vocal leader in the back. And just by communication alone, she will help keep us organized. And communication is always big in the back. And then Brittany Harris is a very fast flank player, local product, in-state product from Huntsville, Alabama. We're, we're really excited about her. Her ability to get up and down the field is going to really be able to help us attack out of the back. Mm. And you talk about the midfielders. You have three players who could possibly see some time there. Uh, players like Megan Fielding, Emily LaRue, and an earlier signee who we already brought in was uh, Ema Martinez, right? So, Right. Well, Ema, she's, uh, we were fortunate to get her. She was an NAI All-American. Uh, we were able to get her to transfer here this spring. Uh, so it's nice to get her involved in training with the team already. Uh, Emily LaRue is someone I had to, uh, was fortunate to see at an ID camp out in Seattle last summer. And uh, I think she's going to really come in and bring a lot of composure midfield. She's a quick attacking player that uh, I think uh, will help solidify and give us really good numbers in midfield where we have a lot of options, a lot of competition for playing time. Um, Megan Fielding, same thing. Uh, she comes from Halifax, Nova Scotia, where we're fortunate uh, to have, have her come in and be comfortable right away because we have two players from her hometown, right. from her club. So she's a very versatile player. She can play in the back as an outside back. She can play in, in midfield as a defending or attacking midfielder. She's a uh, aggressive player, likes to get forward, loves to get involved in the attack, and uh, I think she's going to do good things for us as well. Yeah, you talk about uh, going to Nova Scotia. It's become a familiar pipeline for Coach Smith here. Last, last season getting Larissa White and uh, Emily Fleming to join the program. So you have a third player from that same general area, right? Definitely. And, you know, when they come in and visit, they get comfortable. They know those three already actually knew each other. Uh, so, you know, as coaches, you know, you get comfortable. With, you know, it's like you're fishing. If you find a good spot, you want to keep going back to. And as long as we can continue to get quality players like uh, now the three that we have from Halifax, we're going to continue to go back there. And you had another player from Canada as well, right? You had... Uh, Elena. Elena, Elena, Elena right? So yeah. four players now from Canada. How about that? That's something. Right. Uh, great players up in Canada. You know, where they've got a lot of options for them, and uh, we feel fortunate to have them. Mm -hmm. uh, you switch over looking at the forwards. You also brought in three of those, so you split it evenly, three, three, and three. If you're looking at the forwards, uh, midfielders, and defenders, a couple of those players we're looking at are Janice Adder, uh, Lexi Krager and also Cat uh, Farmer. So what, what do we see from those three players uh, up top? Well, they're all quality goal scorers, and that's something you need in soccer. They're very composed in front of goal. They like to score goals. They like to get forward, and uh, they're very dynamic. We've got quality goal scorers here, but now we're starting to get older in that area, and we need to, we need to make sure that we have quality players coming from behind them. I think all three will challenge for playing time. Um, Lexi Krieger comes to us from Peninsula Junior College, and. Uh, Coach Canyon Anderson that does a great job up there. I'm fortunate that we've already had two players come to us from Peninsula, Shelby, who you mentioned, no, and, and, Deidre, right, and Deidre Woodward. So 
Uh, again, those relationships you build with coaches down the line pay dividends. And uh, Kat uh, Farah came comes to us from from Germany. She's a military dependent. Uh, and the nice thing about her is she gets to play in the German youth system uh, where she lives in Stuttgart. But she also plays for high school Department of Defense dependent schools team. Um, and she was the Stars and Stripes European Player of the Year. Again, dynamic goal scorer, loves to get forward, loves to score goals, and has a knack for scoring in big games. Uh, and lastly, uh, Janice Ader plays for Quality Eclipse uh, ECNL team out of Illinois. Again, a very uh, pacey player that likes to get up, likes to get behind defenses. Uh, and again, those are qualities that every team has to have. At a glance, when you look at these players, you'll notice that a lot of them have championship experience. And that seems to be the case for most of these players. That had to be a big, uh, big recruiting feather in your cap, right? When you see that, uh, right, all the way down the line of players who play in big games and able to win. Well, you want players who are comfortable on the big stage. When you get to a, into a pressure situation, if they've been there before, not that it ever comes next second nature because big games are big games, but they're comfortable. They they adapted to the environment. They understand the demands that are put on them, uh, and they produce. And those are the type of players that build programs and make programs successful. And those are the type of players that we want playing for us here at Alabama State. Coach, how would you kind of describe this group as a whole? What are some words you would use to, to, to characterize them? I would say complete. It answers all the questions that we had as far as being able to replace who we lost. We lost eight seniors uh, that have really been invested in the program. Uh, so I think it's a complete class. It, uh, again, we answer the needs that we have in the back, in midfield, and up front. Um, so I think they'll leave a legacy, they'll make an impact, they're quality kids, not only on the field, but off the field. Uh, and those are the type of student athletes that you want on your team. Mm -hmm. Another thing I notice our players when they come here to Alabama State, they have to fill out questionnaires. And when I was looking at the questionnaires, I noticed a lot of the players, one of the first things they said was how easy and comfortable they felt with the players who were already on this team. So they already felt like this was a home for them. And what was the case there? Well, those are nice things to hear. Part of the official visit is when you bring them in, obviously, do they get along? Team chemistry uh, is a really essential ingredient into overall team success. Yeah. And we've been fortunate over the past couple of years to continue to build team chemistry. I think it's one of our strengths now. And uh, when we bring players in, we want them to feel comfortable with the players around them. That there's a, uh, a friendship developing there so when they get here in August, they're already comfortable being here with their teammates. Yeah, absolutely. So this was the largest class ever in the history of Alabama State Soccer. Nine new players will be here in the fall, Coach. So you got to be excited about that, right? I'm really excited. You know, August, you know, signing these kids here uh, in February, and before we know it, uh, preseason will be here. And I'm really excited to get on the field, uh, not only uh, with the, with our new players that we signed, but to see how they fit into the, how the pieces fit into our overall team. Uh, and I think really great things are on the horizon for us this year. All right, that's going to do it from here. Signing day 2016, Alabama State Women's Soccer. Lots of new players are coming in this, this fall.